guys, my name is Bob. Welcome to the Excel Map channel. And today I'm going to talk about absolute referencing. All right, so basically absolute referencing is very important. All right, if you want to fix a particular cell or if you want to apply uh, you know, formulas into certain columns itself or certain rows itself. So absolute referencing, there are three types. And usually when we want to reference a particular cell, we, we, we will have this particular dollar sign. Right, so this dollar sign basically means that uh, it is to fix uh, either the row or the column itself. Uh, later, I will give you an example in regards to how this actually works. All right, so here we go. Um, so basically, when you put a dollar sign, all right, um, dollar sign G, dollar sign 2, it means that the columns and the rows does not change when copied. All right, so uh and the next one if you put a dollar sign g2 it says that the column does not change when copied and g dollar sign 2 it means that the row does not change when copied so this dollar sign right basically it fix all right it fix uh, a particular row a particular column so that when you copy the formulas it does not change so let me just give you an example with regards to what do i mean by you know all this particular thing so I have a particular data set. This is uh, uh, L5. Cell L5 contains 12. Cell L6 contains 13. Cell M5 contains 22. And cell M6 contains 34. So let's say if I were to fix, all right, um, this cell, all right. Oops. Uh, if I were to fix this cell and this cell, and if I were to put, all right, the dollar sign down here, all right. Okay, so we know that this uh, M5 is made up of L5 and M5, where I put the dollar sign on the rows and the columns for both of them. And if I were to copy, okay, if I were to copy, all right, the formulas itself and apply it to all the rows, as you see, you realize that, all right, the rows, the copied cells itself are all including the same formula as the first cell all right same formula as the first cell and so this is what it means all right so if you know this formula were to be copied into other cell itself the referencing all right will be the same so what if let's say if i were to change all right um, dollar sign l dollar sign five to dollar sign l five all right, so what happens if I were to copy? If I were to copy, you see that the value is actually changes. All right, so if I were to take a look at that, okay, if I were to copy, you know, this formula and scroll it down to the next cell, you'll see that all right, the five has changed to a six, which means that the all right, the column itself, okay, does not change, but the row actually changes. All right, as you apply the formulas. Okay, to the other cell. If I were to fix the row, but not the column itself, and if I were to copy it to the next column, you will realize that the column actually changes. So this is actually consists of, all right, two of these cells: M five, uh, M dollar five sign, and plus dollar M dollar five. Okay, and last but not least, if I were to not include any dollar sign, it means that the column does not change when copied. So let's say, for example, L5 plus M5, this plus this cell gives you N5, which is 34. And if I were to copy it to the next row itself, only the row numbers change, but not the column change, all right? So very simple. This is the absolute referencing. And I'm Bob, and that's about it.